it's a Canada milk vetch, which this is its flower. And then um, when its seed is ready, it forms like a, these are all, these all become like round little capsules of seed. Mm -hmm. So actually- They're called windows. Yeah. If you touch the stem, you're not going to get itchy or anything. There's no uh... stinging nettles. Yep, <laughs> the leaves look just like it almost. But yeah, this is part of the mint family. Really cool plant. Most of the time, the heads get a little bigger on this one, but we're just in the shape. Yep, these are. This is look uh... almost like a morning glory kind of type. Yeah, it's actually part of that family. This is a hedge bindweed. It comes in like this pink color, but also some of it is just a solid white. Yeah, the ones most I see are that. Mm -hmm. really, I, you know, pastel purple. Yeah, I think a, some people call it moonflower. I think that might be the kind of invasive. But right here, we just put so much of this cup plant in here because cup plant, we've learned, has been really a battle against that invasive grass. It's probably five feet tall. When you go up on the bluffs, it's like this tall. <laughs> yeah. Edible? I don't believe so. I mean, I wouldn't take my word on this one. I'm not completely confident on it. <laughs> that was always something curious to me. This week. How do we discover if these plants were edible or not? <laughs> Someone's got a key, and that's the way it disperses its seeds. Um, probably in another month, it'll form these little seed pods, and when you walk by, you just get covered, get covered. in stuff. But they're really pretty plants. I mean, so then what, naturally, what distributes their seeds then? Wildlife. So like a deer would deer, come whatever by. Comes in. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. There's blah, blah, blah. Like he was doing like 10 acres and we were like, we don't have that much seed. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, those are gorgeous. <laughs> and another issue we come across is just that we don't farm any of this. We come out here and we pick all of it by yeah, hand. Yeah, this is our prairie dog, Max. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is a bird oak. That's the only... And is that a volunteer? It... Actually, we, uh, my dad, planted these before I was born a lot of them. So when they're like this tall, I mean, um, that's a lot of progress for a bur oak. Bur oaks, do they, do they start off really, really slow, mm -hmm. but then go boink, later on, or are they just... I mean, they're pretty slow all throughout. All the way. Um, a bur oak is awesome to have here because they're really fire resistant. So when you light this thing uh, for this prairie on fire, this tree can withstand it. I mean, when it's this size though, we do kind of cut around it, mow around it, kind of rake. Break the so grass too back. High. Yeah, exactly. Just to give the tree a chance. Okay. But uh, right here, this is common milkweed. So this is a monarch loving plant. Um, they lay their eggs on it. I don't see any on this one. But a lot of people consider this one a weed. I mean, it is in the name, but I mm -hmm. think people should appreciate it more because this is what monarchs love and really need to survive. You can see a lot of monarchs flying around here today. Mm -hmm. I just saw five of them. There's one. But yeah, this year we've had a lot of uh, swallowtails, monarchs, more than last year actually, which is a great sign. Um, which, so this is good stuff though. Yep, this, this is good stuff. It's really sharp, so you gotta kind of be careful. With yeah, it. you were pointing that out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> It looks just like a bottle brush. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then this was that plant you found before. That was that Canada goldenrod. Mm -hmm. That's the same goldenrod I can make tea with. Um, I'm not sure about that one. I think you might be thinking of the wild bergamot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff that I've tried. The amount of rain and just water it this cold. So you can see as you move up, you just get more and more sweet. Because this is that canary grass I was telling you about before. Yep. It's just the hill prairie we have here, or it's just a slight hill, but we like to call it a hill prairie. So you can tell there's a lot of wildlife. Look at all the birds running around here. Um, huh? Lots of different species. This is probably one of our best spots of our prairie, right in here, and then right when you come in the driveway, just to really capture people's attention, attention. when you <laughs> when you walk or when you drive in. Um, but yeah, we probably have roughly 75 species on this hill, maybe more than that, just because it's kind of hard to, you have to keep track every year because we keep adding. <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to keep track. So you're actively introducing mm -hmm. 
new things here? Yes, all the time. All the time. In fact, a lot of the seeds we collect, we just put back out here into those problematic areas of inflow of reed canary grass. So that's kind of how just we're limited. chase them away, huh? Yeah, we're trying to. or the Madison Audubon Society. Mm -hmm. It's just, I, just, these people are so knowledgeable. I could listen to them all day. It's just incredible. Well, it's, it's good that you, you caught that fever. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. No, that, that, yeah, fever is the right word for it. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you really get interested in something. Yeah. You know, and then you can find the people, mm -hmm. you know, and then they're willing to share. Well, so if you, if you want to know, you want to ask, you know, they'll, exactly. they'll take the time to. Mm -hmm. to help you of the amount of seed we're collecting um, and I just hope to keep doing that so in the future it just it, it's kind of a hard time to do this but <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to purchase my own land someday So, yeah, all the seeds on the, this table right here is all the stuff that we just have picked so far this year. Um, Can we bring a couple more? Yeah, wild geranium is actually stuff that we found in a ditch nearby our house. I was on a run, I'm, um, and I just happened to see this beautiful uh, purple flower, and I'm like, hey, I know what that is. It's wild geranium. Same. <laughs> and, of course, the year, too, because some, some of this we save for a few years. Um, and then this is Ohio spread that each seed has its own little marking on it, almost as if it was crafted. Can you see that? You see that its own little fingerprint? Yeah. That's phenomenal. So this is a pretty early bloomer. It's got like this uh, purpley blue. So wild geranium is a really interesting plant. It has a ballistic seed dispersion. So Ballistic? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it means, like, um, means like it pulls up. Yeah, it does. So at a certain point where the seeds, when the seeds get dry enough, um, I wish I had a casp capsule that was still put together I could show you, but the seed will actually like go feet away from where the plant is. It'll just kind of... Oh, burst. <laughs> yeah, burst, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and just how dark of a color it is for such a light plant. It's I was like, I picked, I just picked this last year, and I was like, yeah. yeah. So this just has that same look to it, with the little seeds right in there still. And this stuff is really wet because we've had so much rain. Um, we actually, or my dad went out. And you picked this what? Last? Oh, there's three. <laughs> so we let this dry, and we uh, went and processed the seed three or four times before we put it in here. But all of the stuff in this uh, bucket is going to go out in our prairie. And then all the seed that we've harvested already in this one um, is what we're going to use for our clients' projects. But so that's kind of how we do it. So we kind of get the dirty stuff or the stuff that we haven't really processed. going to lay that all in along there, you know, once I cleaned it all out. So we're going to get in there probably in a couple weeks and I'll seed it in here. So, but this is nothing more than a lot of leftover stuff. Yeah.